Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, we wired over the system yesterday. Um, everything is not done yet. I got the junction box. I got to get that all set up and everything, but I got to order a couple more things for that. But we have the uh, the system switched over, and I'm going to go in and show you that in a second. I'm hoping that the lighting is okay and you can see it okay. It's a very overcast um, day here today. It's about 62, so it's not bad temperature-wise. It's just uh, real overcast, and they're calling for rain. So um, I will take you inside here, and I will show you what I'm doing um, because the battery sat as long as they did. I'm letting them get a good charge. So I'm not going to probably even use the solar system for a couple days. I'm just going to let it charge up. Um, I wanted to get it in a good charge, let it sit into a float charge, because I have as many batteries as I do and I only have 750 watts up it's going to take some time for that to get up I got to get my other three panels up so I got more power coming in but I'm going to take you inside here and I'm going to show you what's going on um, explain to you how we got everything set up and a big big thank you goes out to Bill because we wired the batteries wrong and um, he you know I gave him a call um, from Bill and Rosa off grid so um, I called Bill up and uh, he walked me through and ex explained what exactly I was doing wrong. And uh, so it made sense and we did it the right way and got the thing wired up right. You know, like I said, I am not an expert. Um, this is a learning curve for me as well. But if I can show you guys how it's done and how to do it the right way, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to show you what we did for right now and I'm going to explain to you what we're going to be doing. All right. So first of all, what I have here, um, I went and picked this up yesterday. This is a grounding rod. I'm going to be pounding this down into the ground. Uh, I picked up 20 feet of copper wire, and that's going to be going from the junction box into the grounding rod, and uh, so everything will be grounded, okay, just so you guys know. Uh, first of all, here are the old batteries sitting over here. I'm not old or less than a year old, but I got them over here. And so over here, we got the new batteries in here wired up. Okay. And so it's not, I don't know if it's going to be bright enough really, but okay. So what we got right now, um, I hope you guys can see this anyway, but what we have, I have 28 volts coming in. Okay. Uh, the batteries are at 25.1 volts. The reason that everything is off right now, uh, because, okay, I got two point amps and uh, 0.052 watts, okay. Um, like I said, it's an overcast, cloudy day, so it's getting a slow charge, um, and that's what's happening right now. The reason that I have this off, I'm going to show you this right now. I'll turn it on. And once I turn that on, this green light here comes on. And what that indicates is that the power, it's in power saver control because the batteries are less than 75%. Okay. So the problem, obviously, is um, they sat for a while. Now they need to be charged up. So that's what's happening with the batteries. They're charging up now. Okay. They're filling up. When I wired everything up, uh, these four batteries here in the front, they were boiling like you would not believe. Okay, so what I had done wrong, I'll explain to what I did wrong first, and then I'll explain to you what we did and changed it and did it right. Okay, what I did wrong was I left the positive terminal here, where you see all the connectors together, open, and I left the negative terminal, blah, 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 blah. well, the negative terminals over here for all the connectors not now okay but what I did was um, the negative terminal I left over here open and so we wired everything up so it was like one huge battery okay which was obviously wrong so what we had to do is you hook the first four batteries together okay um, you're gonna go from your so we left the we left the positive open on this first battery okay so then we went from negative to positive, then negative to positive, negative to positive. Left this one, this one here open, okay, 
for that mo for the moment but that's the tie-in for everything okay so then we went from um so what we did then so that that there's your there's your first four so that's one battery 24 volts okay then what we did is we went from this one negative to positive negative to positive negative to positive and then with the positive or I'm sorry with the positive to negative all the way through on this one then from the negative on this battery okay we came up here see this there's here's the cable comes in and ties in with the first battery and the positive of this next set of batteries comes up and in and ties in with the first battery okay now same thing here the positive here ties in with this first battery okay then we go negative to positive negative uh, let's see oh, I'm sorry so yes yeah, so negative to positive uh, negative to positive negative to positive then the negative one here will come in and tie in over here so what we have you tie four batteries together to give you their 24 volt battery you take your positive end of your first battery and your negative of your last battery of your series of four and you tie them in together with your first bat your first set of batteries so your first set of four here okay the positive terminal all three batteries get connected to that first positive terminal all three negatives of the batteries get tied into your first battery so that's how it had to be done okay so oh actually so now actually just went up to t the batteries are now at 25.2 volts because they were at 25.1 so it's slowly coming up okay um be like i said because again of the fact that they just sat for as long as they did i'm just letting them get a good charge um tomorrow is supposed to be really sunny it's supposed to be really nice cooler but really really sunny day and um so you know i'm just going to let these these bad boys just charge up and get a real good charge on them because of the fact that they sat okay so this here box here this is your combiner box everything is going to eventually be tied in to this box here there's going to be um a switch here which when the solar comes in i can flip this off and it shuts the solar power coming in off to everything so i can work on stuff okay and uh so that i'll, I'll show you guys all that once we get to that point but for right now what we did just to get the system online we got you know i got the midnight classic uh the 150 okay and uh it's working it's charging i got 2.2 .2 amps now uh 0 0.0055 watts uh 28 volts coming in and like i said the batteries are at 25.2 volts you know they got to get up i think they'll be in a float charge at uh 28 i believe i'm not 100 percent sure i'd have to look at it again but uh so that's that's what's happened i don't know if you guys can see that i don't know okay yeah there we go okay now you can see that so you can see it's got 28 volts coming in the batteries are at 25.2 volts 2.2 amps okay so we got power coming in which is great um you know it's just like i said it's just going to take some time um got my freaking 24 volt ames inverter and charger and what i'm also going to be doing guys just so you know I will be wiring up so that if I'm running my generator, it will charge the batteries as well. Okay. Um, like I said, there's a lot, lot going on as far as this. There's a lot that still has to be done. But for right now, I have it functional. It's working. The batteries are charging. Um, we did have the power on in the house. But like I said, right now the batteries, you know, because they sat for so long, they really just need to have a good state of charge. So, you know, I'm going to, when I do my videos here um, over the weekend, I'll just continue to show you, you know. Um, it's just going to, I'm just going to take some time. I want it to charge up really, really good. I don't have to use it. I can use the generator for a couple days. 
and uh, I want to get it to a good good charge and then let it sit in a float charge for a few hours so that we have just I just want to have it cranking in here um, and of course today is a very overcast cloudy day so I'm not getting as much power in as I normally do and it's okay um, you know it just like I said it's just gonna take some time and that's okay uh, I'm excited about it it's uh it's a really cool thing I mean it's uh, you know I, like we're talking with Bill from Bill and Rose off grid again um, you know he was saying to me you know he was telling me what he runs and he has eight batteries of the uh, the uh, l16 e batteries so I have 12 um, eventually I will buy four more and that should suffice on all our, our battery storage needs that we're gonna have now the set next process is, is I got the next three panels. I got to get the next three panels up, um, which I will be working on that. Then, um, you know, I want to get more panels. So, you know, it, the more panels that I get now, you know, the, the faster the things will charge, the faster it will get into flow charge. And it's just, like I said, it's, it, this is a process. You know, this is a learning curve, um, you know, you just don't figure it out by yourself overnight you know you, you go and you ask people that have done it you know you learn from other people here's my biggest thing and this is why I show you everything and I tell you everything that I do wrong because I want you guys to learn from my mistakes you know I am not an expert I have never said I'm an expert okay but my thing is if you're gonna do this if you're really gonna go gung-ho solar go ahead and spend the extra money and get the proper equipment really that's the key i mean if you have good equipment and good batteries and uh you know it, it makes all the difference in the world it really really truly does i mean and i understand cost wise it's expensive you know it's not cheap none of it's cheap but uh you know hey buddy hey buddy how we doing um so cost wise you know it, it's an investment like anything else because here's what ends up happening you buy the cheap inverter you buy the cheap charge controller okay and eventually you're going to have to upgrade you have to if you want your equipment if you want the system to run well to be as efficient as possible you really need to upgrade your equipment and that's the bottom line so why waste the power that you have coming in you know I mean that that's realistically the key you don't want to waste that power so anyway guys so that's what's happening um, I'm actually really really excited about it like I said I got a, you know a lot going on but anyway it's uh, yeah so when I when I hook these up explain to you what was happening here these first four batteries here okay I could hear them boiling. I mean, just boiling away. Okay, and um, the this wire here going into the to the main positives. That thing was so freaking hot. I was just like, man. I kept coming back and checking, and then it's everything settled out. And like I said, I just I believe it, I believe it's because it sat so long. The battery sat for you know a few months before I uh, set everything up here. So now, you know, it's a matter of just letting it work on getting charged up, and it will. Also here, okay, let me show you this here. Here's my copper wire, so when I ground everything, okay, so, but yeah, like I said, I, uh, so here's the other ones that we disconnected, it's still sitting up on a wall. But, uh, you know, um, I may have sold the other charge controller as well. So if anybody's interested in a 300 watt inverter, let me know. I mean, the thing works fine, you know, but uh, so here's here. Okay, let me explain the difference, okay? This inverter is probably 72% efficient, okay? This inverter is like 92% efficient so that's the difference and that's why you know you want to go with a better you know a better a better power source that way all right so but yeah so everything is uh and so here we got you know your positive and your you know your positive and your negative and those are getting tied in to the batteries as well 
and then the same thing with you got the power coming in from the solar panels into the midnight classic your positive and negative and say so I put tape around here so it, it dictates so it know I know which one's a negative and those also get tied into your batteries I probably should have explained that too I'm sorry that I didn't um, but like I said once everything else gets set up I'm gonna I have the brat um, so I can do things online and I'm you know I'm gonna, I got fuses and stuff like that and that's all gonna get set up I just got to get a few more things here um, I had picked up uh, 60 amp breakers I want 100 amp breakers and I need a big main breaker over here on the box and this I picked this up from Missouri Wind and Solar and uh, I got all the other stuff there but uh, all that will get set up on another day this is functional for now um, I want to get everything grounded you know and uh, but like I said it's uh, it's just a it's a process you know and it just take your time do it right spend the money that's what I would say my advice would be spend the money now you don't have to start out with 12 batteries if you want to start out with four you know then then go ahead and do that or what you know what I mean? or if you're gonna go with the 12 volt system get four and you got two 12 volt batteries you know um, eventually everybody upgrades that's that's the bottom line too so always have that in the back of your mind you will go from a 12 to a 24 or probably eventually I will go to a 48 volt system it's just the way it is you know um, it's a, it's a, you know it's just what every, everybody does it you know it's more energy efficient it works out better that way so anyway guys so that's the new system it's up it's running it's charging um, I gonna like I said I'm just gonna let it freaking charge up over the next couple days and uh, tomorrow, like I said, it's supposed to be really, really sunny, really, really, it's going to be like 57, I think they said, for the high tomorrow. But uh, it's going to be sunny, real sunny day, and I think Sunday's going to be the same thing. So I really want to see what kind of charge I get in that bad boy tomorrow when the sun's out full bore all day. Um, again, I only have 750 watts, okay, and that makes a difference of how much power's coming in to charge these batteries. I mean, I don't have a a 3000 watt system that will slam these batteries full charge quick so um, you know that's something that I'm going to be working on obviously I get the other three panels up and now I'm going to be doubling my intake of power coming in to charge these batteries so again it, it's a process we'll work on it and uh, that'll be that okay so uh, just want to show you what we got going on and uh, it's it's been fun it really has it's real interesting it's like I said, it's learning, 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 learning. So as we continue to work on things, I will show you more. Um, everything's working great right now. It's charging up the batteries, and that's what we want it to be doing. Okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.